Today on this boat trailer, we're going to show you part number T1878700. This is a Titan Uni Servo Hydraulic Trailer Brake Assembly. Alright, this is our brake assembly. This is going to be installed on the right hand side or the passenger side. A few quick measurements. The pad here is uh, two and a quarter inches. Designed to fit a 10 inch drum, which is typically found on 3,500 pound axles. It's got a protective finish on the backing plate itself. It's a simple single serve uh, brake. Doesn't have any auto adjustment to manual adjust, but pretty easy to install. First off, we need to go ahead and remove the original backing plate. All right, we got our hub already off the axle. How they're bolted on could be a few different ways. In this case, we uh, have bolts uh, running from the inside to the outside here. Sometimes they'll be simple studs. In this case, we'll need a, a socket and a wrench in the back side to remove them. And also we need to unscrew the brake line as well. So let's do that first. Once we have it loosened up, we'll actually use a piece of old rubber tubing to slide over the end and help keep the uh, fluid from running out all over the place. We just need to run the tube up higher than the hydraulic coupler. Okay, with our rubber line keeping the fluid in place, we'll go ahead and loosen up our bolts that are holding the backing plate. Put a wrench on the back side, and we'll go ahead and undo the nut on the inside. All right, make sure your axle flange is clean. And then we'll go ahead and put our new assembly into place. As long as your existing hardware is okay, we'll go ahead and reinstall it. Okay, and now we can go ahead and reinstall the brake line into the cylinder on the other side. Okay, go ahead and pull out the little red protective plug. We'll go ahead and put our line back into place. Now this may vary from trailer to trailer, but we happen to be using a 3 8 line wrench. You can see how the wrench wraps around the nut a little bit, the normal, more, a little bit more than normal. That's what works the best in these fittings. Once we kind of stop at the bottom of the threads, we'll give it just a little bit of a snug push until it naturally wants to stop again. We should be good to go. Okay, and with that, our backing plate for passenger side or our right-hand side is installed. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same process over on the uh, driver's side or the left-hand side with a different part number. Now the part number for the left-hand side will be T1878800. Okay, once we have both sides installed, we'll go ahead and take a few moments to go ahead and bleed the brake. That'll be this valve on the top. All we gotta do is remove the cap, and this will go ahead and loosen it up, and then we'll go ahead and let it bleed out. All right, now a valve on top uh, uses a metric wrench. 10 millimeter works the best. And we just loosen up like a bolt, and that'll let the fluid come out so you can bleed the brakes through the cylinder and when we're done just go ahead and tighten it back up. Okay and that'll finish it for the Titan Uni Servo hydraulic trailer brake assembly for the right hand side part number T1878700 and also the Titan Uni Servo hydraulic trailer brake assembly for the left hand side part number T1878800.